Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime 1, back again with another Transformers video review. Alright, this time I'm looking at Transformers Prime Cyberverse Commander Class um, Ironhide, who we haven't seen in the show yet. Um, hopefully we will, because this is a really good-looking Ironhide. Um, kind of, once again, it's proving its point of being part animated, part movie. Um... But this is more movie and G1, which becomes more evident in robot mode, but you can kind of see it in the paint scheme. Since in G1, Ironhide was red, and in movie, he was black. So, red and black. Plus, he has the two cannons from, um, from the movie. Um, but whereas the movie cannons were different, these two are just the same. So... He rolls really good. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes to get him to sit level. Uh, but all in all, it's still a very good truck mode. Um, the packaging detail shows these mounted up here. But every time I try to do that, they don't want to go in the holes and they end up splitting the back of the truck. So I figure I just stick them on the side like I do with my movie Ironhide uh, Cyberverse. So, plus they're right where they need to be for robot mode, so all you have to do is just flip them. So, that, that always works out too. But, a uh, quick look at the cannons. You could, there is a left and a right side cannon, and the way you can tell is they, all, they both have one long peg and one short peg. And the short peg always points to the arm that, that it's supposed to um, stick be plugged into. Yeah, if you ever try to plug anything in while he's in vehicle mode, the the, car, the truck just folds. Um, so it's not very secure in vehicle mode. If you apply any sort of pressure to it. But anyways, on to transformation. You want to fold out the legs like this. You want to split the legs. You want to... Let's see. You want to fold the feet down like so. And then the toes. So fold it down and down, like that, and then there's his legs. And then you want to come up here, lift and lift, and then you want to split and raise his arms up like this, and then turn to reveal the head, and then put the arms back down, uh, and then flip these over like so. And then you want to take the cannons and just flip them right here. Fold the roof all the way, the roof of the truck all the way around, and then stick the wheel on the back of the arm. And there's one arm. And then we'll move the wheel to the back. We'll flip the roof like this. Turn the cannon. And then there's Ironhide in robot mode. Now, and I said a mixture of G1 and movie. That head is nothing but G1 invoking. He's got the little mohawk piece here. He's got the two ear things on the sides. Um, he's got that kind of gruff-looking old man face that he did in G1. And just this whole, the whole head just, just screams G1. Um, and it's a very good looking figure too. Has a lot of articulation. He can't turn at the head because that's the whole top piece. Um, but he has a ball jointed shoulder, um, a swivel up here, a uh, ball jointed elbow, uh, ball jointed hip, sh uh, swivel at the at the knee, and then. He's got a swivel on the foot and the toes due to transformation, but it does help him stand in more dynamic poses. The only problem I have with him is these can 
can hinder the the arm bars for his shoulders. Um, or if you raise the arm too high up, it pushes them up, kind of like that. And then it doesn't look right. So, but that's just me. It just doesn't look very good when these are flipped over and his arms are too high up. But still a very good figure. Very, very good. I'd love to see this character in, in the show. Um, hopefully we will get to see him in the show. Um... But yeah, Ironhide's a very good figure. Um, maybe a little finicky, maybe not so sturdy in vehicle mode. But the robot mode is where is once again where the uh, the toy shines. And I definitely say he's worth picking up. So um, I'm Spider Prime One. This is Ironhide. Uh, back again with another Transformers video review pretty soon, but until then, I'm signing off.